Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Shannon Morse is here. Snubs are a producer Hello. of the show, the woman who wrangles all the gear, all the products. And this is kind of interesting because uh, this is a new Dell Latitude. They make, yes. you know, pretty good business laptops. But this one is mil spec. It is. So this is the Dell Latitude E7440. So this is one of the many laptops in their Latitude 14 7000 series. Uh, you can get laptops in that series for as little as about 1000 bucks at 1089. This one in particular costs 1849 on their website. Wow. And that is with a coupon on the Dell website. So how come it's, it's very so expensive? expensive? So this is made for people that travel a lot, uh, people that are going to be out and about on planes, moving it around in backpacks and things like that. So what they did with this is stylized a military chassis on the inside uh. that can not only deal with things like vibrations, but can also deal with spills on the keyboard. They did a lot of testing with that, as well as uh, high temperatures and low temperatures. So if you have it in your car in the middle of summertime in like Arizona, then you'll still be fine with this. And if you open and close it several times because you're traveling and you need this at a bunch of different locations, the chassis will end up working very well. It's also built with aluminum, and on the back, it has nice carbon fiber uh, footprint on it. So it's really, really pretty. It feels really nice because it has this soft texture to it. And uh, the one big thing I did not like about this was the keyboard. So if you notice, you might be able to notice it on the screen. You can see a little bit of a flex going on with this whenever why, I press down why, on some why? keys. This is something that and tough I'm not for that nice very aluminum hard. chassis. No, I'm just kind of doing this regular type flexing. and you can see a little bit of flex to it. Mm. And that's, I feel like this part was made cheaply yeah. and that bummed me out. So as far as the interior go goes, it has a four gig RAM, so plenty of memory, uh, HD 4400 graphics, Intel in integrated graphics. It has a 256 gig hard drive. SSD. Which, yes, solid state drive. Uh, so enough that's nice. space. That's yeah, one of the reasons space. it's expensive. It's a big, big solid state drive. Yeah, exactly. And it also has Windows 8 Pro and there's a whole bunch of extra security settings that you can get from Dell as well for this specific laptop series. Does it have a thumbprint reader? No. This one does not, but you can get that as an okay. additional add-on. And it's touchscreen. Yes, it is. It's a nice touchscreen. I love this screen. It's really bright. This is bright all the way up to 100%. And the colors are beautiful on this. It's a uh, let me see what the specs are on this one. Oh, the, the resolution. Yeah, the resolution on it. I didn't this is an ultrabook. It. You don't see a lot of kind of tough ultrabooks. I, I don't normally no, think no. of them as particularly tough. It does look like it's a low res screen though, 1366 by 768. They do have that's, a lower so, screen one. This okay, one this is the more expensive. Okay, yeah. good. All right. Yeah, that's what I thought they fit in here. Because if you play on the desktop, you can definitely see it as far as when you open Windows. You know the difference like right away when so, it's 1080p. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can. So you can tell that it's a higher res. It's, and I was it's like, 14 it? inches? Yes, yeah. it is. It's 14 inches and it's 3.6 pounds. So when you lift it up, it is a little bit heavier on the heavier side of Ultrabooks. Um, it comes with all the ports that you really need. It has HDMI on the back. USB 3.0. It has no 2.0 ports on it, surprisingly. And it has an Ethernet jack in case you need that. This one also comes with wireless AC, too, instead of just wireless N or A, B, G, and N. So really nice laptop. Very interesting. Um, the wireless, uh, the, the camera up at the top, it's pretty average, but their speaker quality is really, really high. It gets so loud. I was very impressed with that. Uh, so my pros and cons with this, really excellent build quality. You can definitely do a lot of travel with it. Very nice screen. I really like the resolution on it. And the very loud speakers are super fun to play with. Now, on the con side, though, the touchpad does lack a little bit of sensitivity. And you can kind of know that, notice that when I move around on it. Um, but they do include the pointer stick right here, just in case you you still like one Business of those. Business users I've love those. I've seen that a lot lately. Yeah, yeah. seen it a lot lately. Uh, the battery life on this, it does have a battery on the back that you can take out yourself. Uh -huh. It only lasts about six hours, which is kind of low end for a pricey Ultrabook like this. Right. You can buy an extra battery if you really want to, but I would not recommend it. I would want the big battery that's built in. And also the keyboard, of course, that does flex. So 
If you are traveling and you're looking for a nice Ultrabook, I would recommend it, but that's only if you buy the external battery in addition to this one so you can switch them out. So I would have to give this one a try. Not necessarily a buy because it's not for me, but a try. So this is the higher end $1,800 uh, version of the Dell Latitude. This is the E7440, yes. 7440, yes. 3.6 pounds. And I wasn't joking. It really is mil spec. It, it, it's, let me see. It that. is, yeah. It said mil spec 800, I think is what they said, 800G. Yes. <laughs> so that's, I don't know what that means. You could drop it out of a helicopter. I don't know. It's, but you know what? It looks nice. It looks nice. It's a little it's more rugged. It's really nice. And the it looks nice. quality is nice. So, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Definitely one to look at. And, and as always with the, the Dell Latitudes, there's all sorts of features for integrating in the door. Enterprise. Yeah, there definitely Management are. Features and all that stuff. Plenty of that stuff is included through Dell. So, and they have excellent support as well. Right. So, it, it, you'd get quality with it's Dell products. Probably gonna your company's gonna buy it for you. Yes. <laughs> in most cases, yeah. Hey, thank you, Shannon. Shannon Morse Snubs.